Peter Stump was a German farmer who lived in the 16th century in the village of Eprath, near the town of Bedburg in the electorate of Cologne. He was a wealthy and respected member of his community, but he had a dark and sinister secret, he was a serial killer, a cannibal, and a werewolf. Stump's reign of terror lasted for 25 years, from 1564 to 1589. Welcome back to the Discovering Info video. During that time, he claimed to have killed and eaten at least 16 people, including 13 children, one of whom was his own son. He also confessed to having incestuous relationships with his daughter and a distant relative, as well as a demonic liaison with a succubus. How did Stump become a werewolf? According to his own confession, he made a pact with the devil when he was 12 years old. The devil gave him a magic belt that allowed him to transform into a wolf-like creature at will. In this form, he had sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and claws that could tear through flesh and bone. He would roam the countryside at night, hunting for human prey. He would attack men, women, and children alike, ripping their throats out and devouring their hearts and livers. He would also target livestock, especially sheep and goats. Stump's crimes were so horrific that they caused widespread panic and fear among the villagers. They suspected that a werewolf was behind the killings, but they did not know who it was. They formed hunting parties and set traps to catch the beast, but to no avail. Stump was careful to avoid detection and suspicion. He would often join the hunts himself, pretending to be innocent and concerned. Stump's luck ran out on October 28, 1589, when he was finally caught in the act. A group of hunters spotted him in his wolf form near a field where some sheep had been killed. They chased him and wounded him with their spears and guns. As they closed in on him, they were shocked to see him change back into his human form. They recognized him as Peter Stump, the farmer they knew and trusted. Stump was arrested and taken to Bedburg Castle, where he was interrogated under torture. He confessed to everything, his pact with the devil, his murders, his cannibalism, his incest, and his werewolfery. He also implicated his daughter and his mistress as accomplices in his crimes. He said that he had used the magic belt to transform into a wolf, but that it had been stolen from him by the hunters who captured him. The authorities searched for the belt, but they could not find it. They concluded that it was either hidden by the devil or that it never existed in the first place. They decided that Stump's transformation was not physical but spiritual, he had been possessed by an evil spirit that gave him the appearance and abilities of a wolf. Stump's trial was one of the most sensational and infamous in history. It attracted attention from all over Europe. Pamphlets and broadsheets were printed and distributed with graphic illustrations of his crimes and punishment. His case was seen as an example of the dangers of witchcraft and devil worship. Stump's sentence was death by breaking on the wheel, one of the most brutal forms of execution ever devised. On October 31, 1589, he was taken to a public square in Bedburg, where a large crowd gathered to witness his fate. He was tied to a wooden wheel and tortured with red-hot pincers that tore off his flesh. His arms and legs were broken with an iron bar. He was then beheaded with an axe and his body burned at the stake. His daughter and his mistress suffered the same fate as him. As a warning to others who might follow in his footsteps, Stump's severed head was placed on a pole with a wolf mask on it. It was displayed in the center of Bedburg for all to see. The story of Peter Stump is one of the most shocking and disturbing in history. It raises many questions about the nature of evil, the power of superstition, and the limits of human cruelty. What do you think? Was Stump really a werewolf or just a deranged killer? Was he telling the truth or lying under torture? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more horrifying history. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.